are back in time circle here in Big City, and it's better than ever. Today, the Pittsburgh Penguins match up with the Boston Bruins in the heart of Big City, and we've got some friends from the city helping us play this game today. Fans are ready to go. We've got some Penguins fans who made the trip from Pittsburgh and also some Bruins fans who made the trip from Boston who thought this game would be happening at TD Garden. Instead, we've got it for you right here at Big City, and we cannot wait to drop the puck here in Time Circle. Excited to watch this one with you. Alongside Kevin Weeks and Arno Cal, I'm Drew Carter. And Weeksy, we did this last season, and it was awesome. This season, we expect it to be even better. As if that's even possible, but somehow we've made it possible. It will be better. It's going to be bigger, faster, more entertaining, and I love your point, Drew. Fans everywhere. The Big City Greens Classic 2 is going to be unreal. How did this game happen, you might be wondering. Well, here's a phone call that might explain a little bit. Hello. Is this a Bruin star hockey player, Brad Marchand? Yes, ma'am. May I ask who's calling? This is Alice Green from Big City. Grandma Alice, I've heard of you. You and your family made quite a splash at the Big City Greens Classic last year. Which is exactly why I'm calling, Marshy. My grandson Cricket now won the hockey game, but ever since then, it's gone straight to his head. I am the hockey king. All must bow before me. Yeah, that can happen. Let me guess. Is he wearing a crown? You know it. So, how can I help? I want a green family NHL rematch. I'll coach one team, and Cricket will coach the other. And when he loses, the hockey king will never lose. And when he loses... I'll have my sweet, humble grandson back again. Well, we do have a game coming up against the Penguins, but I have to run it by someone on the team. Hold on. Hey, little ball of hate. What's up? Hey, Sid the Kid. Uh, I'm on the other line here with Alice Green. Sid, Sid. Let me guess. She wants to know if she can coach the team? Yes. How did you know? Because I've got Cricket here asking if he can coach the Penguins. Your Bruins are going down, Grandma. What? Cricket? You little sneak. Planning my plans behind my back? <laughs> That's right. Prepare to hear my penguins roar. Or whatever sound penguins make. So, Sid, what do you think? Why not? Get ready to lose, boy. Jenny, Gloria, and Bill are going to mop the floor with you penguins faster than a janitor on his third cup of coffee. No way. Remy, Vasquez, and Mom are going to beat you Bruins so bad your bears will wish they were still hibernating. Wait. Now you're coaching and swapping out members of our team? How many people are on this call? A lot. See you at the game, Grandma. You better bring it. Oh, I'm bringing it. It's game on! Uh, Sid, do you think we should ask NHL about this? Nah, I'll just blame it on you. Wait, what? Wow, you can see the intensity. You can feel it through the screen. Grandma Alice and Cricket Green on opposite sides today. And it looks like we are ready for action. Here in Big City. Last year, the Rangers beat the Capitals in Time Circle. This year, it's the Bruins and the Penguins. And we're off. Pittsburgh trying to bounce back from a 6-0 loss to Washington Thursday. Meanwhile, Boston beat Toronto 4-1 to that same day. We've got three characters per team from Big City Greens playing in this afternoon's matchup. You see Tilly is out there to start. And also Nancy Green, Nancy playing with Pittsburgh today. I'll tell you what, Drew, I think Nancy's going to have an impact in this game. I really do. Of course, Nancy is someone who's not afraid to get in there and rough it up, a former member of the Stingers biker gang. You see Bill is in the crease. Bill playing goalie today for Boston, replacing Linus Allmark who is going to get the start for the Bruins. On the other side, Alex Nedeljkovic was slated to start for the Penguins, but instead it is Vasquez. And we get a whistle, and it looks like a penalty, and a power play is coming. A power play is when the other team takes a penalty, and uh, because of that, the, uh, the player has to sit in the penalty box for, for two minutes, most times four sometimes and uh, if they're if they're really bad maybe five what happens then is that the other team that does not get the penalty gets to play with one man advantage and they play that for a full two minutes or unless they score a goal then the penalty gets withdrawn and you start playing five on five hockey again so what happens when we have a power play look at this you got the actual animals replacing the players 
There's Whoa. Saxon telling us what the penalty was. Two minutes for tripping on Marshawn of Boston. Whoa, that's cool. The Penguins will start the second period on the power play. And Weeksy, tell us what they're watching there in the living room. What they're watching is Dollar Bill in the net making save after save. Same with Vasquez. He's been sharp, too. We welcome you back to the broadcast table here in Time Circle. Excited to be doing this again, watching a hockey game here in the heart of Big City. But, Weeksy, yes, sir. we'd love to see some goals. I mean, maybe I'm just speaking for myself because you're the goalie, but we'd love to see some offense in this game. I think it's only a matter of time because both goalies have been really good to this point. But there it is. We have our first goal of Big City Greens Part 2. And it's David Pasternak. No surprise there. Look at the Bruins. Look at those bears. Man, the beef man. Black bears are loving this. We'll take another look at this play. Back out to the point. Ram. David Pasternak with the slapper from distance. He makes no mistake. He opens up one-timer. That's a one-timer game. And I believe Nancy has been called for a penalty. Yeah, Nancy gets called for it looks like a hooky infraction. You hear those bears roaring? That means the Bruins are going on a power play. Here we go. Morgan Geeky winds it up. That puck flutters just to the left of Vasquez. Hello, right. Geeky. And there it is. Another goal. It's Gloria on the power play. She puts it home, beating Vasquez and making it 2 nothing Bruins. It was scored by Pavel Zaka at the Garden. Scored by Gloria here in time circle as she's playing in place of the Bruins top line center so it looked amazing here in big city and for a demo i'm wondering where my partner kevin weeks is maybe he's got some more on that goal the bruins are on the power play here geeky gets that a little quick d to d up high now wait see the way geeky is waiting for graves to go down on one knee once he does he's going to slide this puck towards gloria stop it right there now look at the short side there's just a little bit of daylight on that short side on Vasquez. And you see those eyes? Gloria's eyes are lighting up. You see those? She's looking, and she's going to open up the blade and deflect it. Go ahead and play it. Bang! Gloria and the Bees up 3 nothing. Beautiful power play goal for the Boston Bruins there. They are dominating. Let's hear from the Bruins captain. Cameron made it clear how important this game was to her and it lit a fire on her to come out and really give it her all. She's really a no-nonsense coach and definitely wants to win. Great thoughts there from Brad Marshawn playing his first game under the tutelage of Grandma Alice. Keep in mind, him and Sidney Crosby are great friends as well, but Brad Marshawn certainly having the upper hand here as his Boston Bruins are up 3-0 late in the second period. And if we know anything about Brad Marshawn, he will be talking some junk in the third period. Still a two-goal cushion here, though. Over four minutes in, and look who's on the ice. It's Cricket. He's not coaching anymore. He's playing. A shot from Jacob Lauco goes high. And let's, let's bring Cricket in as he skates around. Cricket, you have ditched your throne. You've decided to play. How would you make that choice? Oh, man, you know, I was just riding high. Um, I'm so excited we finally scored a goal. Um, I'll be honest with you, I was just uh, sobbing, sobbing since the last time we checked in. Um, you know, I said a lot of crazy things to my team in the heat of the moment uh, in between the two periods, um, especially Vasquez. Uh, Vasquez, I'm sorry. Look who else is on the ice. It's Grandma involved in the action. They put it on yeah. the net toward Vasquez. Yeah. Grandma, how are you feeling out there? Yeah. Doing all right, not going to let cricket have all the fun. Gotta tell you, I'm a little concerned. It's been a while since I've been on the ice, as I do have a trick leg. The trick being that it comes off. The Penguins recognizing the situation now, Drew, trying to put every puck toward the net. There's Marshawn streaking in, and Tilly scores! Wow! It's the counter attack. From the Boston Bruins, and their fans are going bonkers, as they should be. Do not be silly, because this is scored by Philly. 
Watch the passing play. Great transition, diagonal seam pass, and Tilly picks this one up. You'll see on the right of your screen, Ram. Tilly's on the board. What a shot by Tilly. It is Tilly time indeed. And let's bring in Tilly Green after she scores to make it 4-1 Bruins. Tilly, you're flying around out there. You must have been practicing. Oh, oh gosh, that was so exciting. <laughs> Tilly, I mean, the, the I shot. Can't believe it. The shot, too. You went down to a knee. You look like a professional. What have you been doing to get ready for this hockey game? Oh, well, like I said, we've been training up the family and also having Grandma's leadership on the ice. Now it's just it's adding a whole new, uh, new dimension. I feel like, uh, you know, ha having her encouragement sometimes comes in the form of insults, but uh, it, it still motivates. It, it still motivates. I feel like we're really uh, firing as a team. All right, Tilly Green with a goal <laughs> and an so assist excited. today. Congrats, Tilly, and thanks oh, for joining thank us. thank you. I mean, what a finish here after the pass from Brad Marchand. Tilly makes it 4-1 Boston. Four goals for the Bees after they did not score in the first period. Do you want to know when this game actually switched? It's this first goal by David Pasternak. Number 88, he's going to fade away from the coverage. One-timer to put the Bees up one. Then a little pitch and catch, and it's the Geek Squad. Morgan Geeky, who makes a little pass down to Gloria, who makes no mistake, and it's the captain, Brad Marsh, that forehand back and goal. He turns on the red light, and not to be outdone, Tilly, Tilly, Tilly. And the second annual NHL Big City Greens Classic belongs to the Boston Bruins. They blow out the Penguins here in time circle. 5-1 the final. A dominant performance by the Boston Bruins today. They got great goaltending from Bill. They got points from Gloria and Tilly and Weeksy. Yes, sir. What a blast it was to be here. This was a blast to be here. I mean, you can't, you can't dream this up. Last year we thought we, it couldn't be any better. This isn't possible. And somehow we've actually enhanced it. The game was electric, the players were great, the atmosphere, the animals, you name it. I just think that this is an absolute bonanza. It's a win for the sport, it's a win for our league, and it's a win for Big City Greens and the Disney family.